believe Buddhist economics will work in the West. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the West is just as uh, much capable of common sense as anybody else. <laughs> It's got to work. We've got to come to something more rational than what we've got now. Uh, and if we don't do it deliberately, it will be forced upon us through, through uh, the facts of the universe. We can't go on building buildings like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm delighted with the applause from the architect. He can tell us more about it. But, uh, to get into a phase where you carefully exclude all natural light and air uh, and to have so many of these buildings at a point when we are moving into a more and more insistent energy shortage. This is quite a thing. So we'll have to adopt quite different principles of, in our thinking, namely that there is no, no, no virtue, no value in maximizing consumption. You want to maximize satisfactions and you want to get your satisfactions with a minimum of consumption to still get them. Now, this is what the voluntary simplicity movement in this country are beginning to discover. They, they're not uh, dour-faced Puritans. On the contrary, they say, God, I'm all burdened with all this clutter. In order to maintain this clutter, I have to make a big income. So I'm in the rat race. If I get rid of the clutter, I can get out of the rat race. And I can have a job, um, a modest job, which is enough to keep me going. And I'm a free person compared with what I was before. There's an excellent group in, in California whom I encountered, a group of Quakers who perhaps a bit sardonically call themselves the Earth Quakers. <laughs> 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 They want to get back to the earth. Of, of course they're middle class. But they go around to their friends, Quaker friends, and say, well, you're now 55. Uh, are you looking forward to your retirement? Yes, I'm looking forward to my retirement. Uh, what do you want to do when you retire? Oh, well, then I'll dig my garden and do this and that. And then they say, why don't you do it now? What are you waiting for? And this comes as quite a shock. You know? They would never thought about it. They say, hey, yes, actually I can do it now, you see. And they rid themselves of all this clutter and find that they can, even at 55, retire, uh, uh, of course, uh, with a very much smaller pension, or perhaps no pension at all, but they'll survive. Now this is an interesting movement, this is a reorientation towards what uh, I call Buddhist economics. I mean, I might have called it Christian economics, but then no one would have read it. Yeah. <laughs>